Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley on Wednesday, the 3rd of summer, year one. My inventory is quite the mess because uh, we didn't quite have enough time to just clean it up yesterday. But uh, let's check on the weather report and start things off, shall we? Now, what's today going to be like? Uh, well, rather, tomorrow is going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. And uh, what does Welwick have to say about the spirits? The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Well, that's actually quite nice. And you know what? Just just because we can, let's check in on the Queen of Source as well. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Source, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, omelette. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg, and I'm going to show you my secret method. One day, I will share with uh, you in the comments my secret method of making an omelette, which isn't particularly secret at all. It just seems to be very good. Uh, right, let's go ahead and drop off. Well, actually, do we have anything to drop off in here? You know what? We don't. We don't have anything particular to drop off in there right now. But let's check in on the on the letter. I'm back. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, May Lewis. <clears throat> you see... <laughs> yeah, you're a bit of a scallywag, May Lewis. Uh, scallywag, I tell you. Um, hmm, we need that for one of the... Uh, one of the bundles right now. But let's drop off the seeds there that we don't need to be bringing with us. And the forage. Now we can drop off the mushroom. Uh, the sweet pea. Actually, it's quite a pretty flower. Um, we'll leave that there for now. The spice berry. The grapes. Do we need to take that anyway? No, we do not need to take that anyway. Okay, we'll leave that there then as well. And I believe... Well, we only need one of the... Uh, sorry, five of the copper bars to get what we need done. Right, okay. So with all of that done, we can now gets to the important task of A, watering Yoko's bowl, B, petting Yoko, C, not watering Yoko. Uh, that is a mistake and unfortunately quite easy one to make. Next, we need to take care of all of our crops and thankfully though, given that uh, we've got an amazing watering can, this is going to take me very little time at all, one hopes. It is currently 10 past 7 and I shall bring you back when I'm done with the watering. And there we go, a little over two hours to water all of the crops and I think that's uh, perfectly perfectly workable for now let's go and drop off the watering can before we uh, head out for the day let's pop that in here uh, what else do we think we're going to be doing today well we're going to need to gather some rocks that's a given I don't think we're going to need our axe for anything though and the fishing pole is just always useful to have really uh, let's just organize my inventory a little bit better there. There we go. All right. Well, now it is time for us to go and hopefully pay a visit to Robin. But uh, first, we do need to get one more rock. Now, where are we going to get that from? I suppose, well, actually, no, we need three more rocks. We've got, uh, we're shy seven, sadly. But uh, let's go ahead. We can possibly pop into the mine and uh, grab a couple of rocks if if need be. And this is also a direction we want to be because of last night's earthquake. Uh, I was confusing it with an event um, that will have damaged uh, some crops, but th that's a meteor. That that sound that I thought it was was, it was actually a, a, a meteor. But uh, uh, we, uh, or rather the, what I thought that sound meant was a meteor. But the earthquake has opened up a new area for us to explore. And let me just grab a little bit of forage so that I can share this with Linus. Here you go, mate. There you go. Oh, damn it. Uh, apparently, no. I, I'm not going to be sharing it with you today, Linus. I do apologize. Let's have a chat instead. I have to be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. Uh, well, I... I don't mind, but uh, I appreciate that uh, your experiences have, have given you pause for, uh, for caution there. But here we are. We have now got access to the railway. And along with this, some more wiggly worms. Oh, it would help if I went the right way, but uh, that'll do there. All right, let's gobble down some salmon berries because, uh, sadly, our energy levels are shockingly low. However, 
right around here, we'll be able to pull these back up. But I do want to get the uh, the coop on the go before we take care of that. So let's just grab all of that. There we go. Perfect. We now have access to the whole railway, and we'll probably explore this area in a moment. But the, the one big thing for us is the baths. Oh, they are going to be useful, especially when uh, watering all of our plants for the morning basically wipes out our entirety of our energy bar. Uh, now, let's go in and check in on Robin. Robin, are you around? There you are. What it are. Uh, could you please construct for me a... What? A shipping... Oh, okay. I can put a shipping bin wherever I want. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, ooh. Five seaweed, five green algae. Raise fish and harvest their produce. Fish multiply over time. I like the idea of that. But this is what we need the most. Let's go ahead get a silo going now we could either have the silo up here though it would conceal a little bit of stuff but uh, i could possibly have two of them over here for example and that would actually be quite useful for me um that would actually be very useful ultimately but let's have the first silo right there i know it's gonna uh, it's gonna be a tall building so it will conceal the path a little bit okay i'll start working on your new silo first thing tomorrow morning thank you very much robin it really really is appreciated hey there Abak. hello now we'll go and have a uh, quick hello with Maru. Are you enjoying the season? I am so far, yes. It's been so warm this year. It has been. I I agree. It has been shockingly not wet through the spring. And now we're going into a season where if it is wet, I'm going to be surprised. So yeah, Stardew Valley is in for a bit of a rough one. Uh, we, we're going to have to be using quite a lot of water, I suspect. Right, let's pop in to the bathhouse. Ah. Obviously going to the correct changing room there, and we shall make our way through with a patented speedy change method. Look at that. Wow. So fast. Now let's uh, go and sink into the baths for a moment. I desperately need some energy. <sighs> and that should be about enough for us. We don't need to, to max it out, really. Right, let's get back out now. Unfortunately, there's no running in the pool, and we are sticklers for the rules, but uh, now we can move along at a bit of a bit of a swifter pace. Right, let's get out there and do a bit more work. We have uh, quite a lot of things that we could do with this time. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of all of these rocks. While we're here, we may as well. Let's grab all of this. We can also have a proper little look around, see if there are any wiggly worms here here or indeed that oh that's new uh hello that does not look like the it's impossible to budge right yeah that does not look like the sort of where does that go though that doesn't look like the sort of thing i can move myself and uh that bin there as well hmm new things now this this i'm familiar with uh i do believe that that leads to the witches area uh, we may may have uh, reason to go there at some point, though uh, I I can think of a few reasons that will never be <laughs> be used. My lord, some of the things you can do in Stardew Valley, it, it does make you think. Uh, there we go, let's grab all of that, thank you very much indeed. And we'll collect these wiggly worms on the way as well. There we are, another little bit of, a bit of stone. Okay, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Now we could, I suppose hop down into the mine if we really really wanted to but i'm not not particularly uh particularly focused on that today i think i would like to visit the community center instead and generally see if we can't chat with some of the people about town now unfortunately we don't have very many in the way of gifts with us which is a bit of a shame oh there, there's some sweet peas over there that i can pick up there we go as a flower it probably makes a fairly decent gift most of the time there we go i wonder if we can chop these stumps down just to clear the way, maybe allow different uh, different trees to grow. We'll have to have a think about that one. There we go. Actually, quite a lot of these there. My goodness. Right. Which uh, which um, bundle does this go into? Uh, probably, well, it's not going to be there, I don't think. Might it be the bulletin board? I think it is the bulletin board that requires the sap. Let's have a gander. We've got children's bundle, fodder bundle, field research bundle, chef's bundle, and dye bundle. No, it's not the field research bundle. Uh, well, actually, yes, yeah, it's maple syrup, so this is uh, definitely a place that that could go. There we go. That's all taken care of. We shall come back in a little while for some more items, but maybe today is going to be a day for fishing. Uh, we'll do a little bit more exploration, see if there aren't some more, more sweet peas around. Hello, mate. 
You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? I like to think so. Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. You're more than welcome whenever you feel like it. Hello, Caroline. Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? Uh, at the moment, I think so, yeah. If not, we might be able to help you out. I'm sure you could, but uh, for now, allow me to give you a sweet pea. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? I am. I hope you enjoy. Hello, Harvey. Uh, I need to get uh, that off my inventory. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze and cough and uh, at the moment, or if you go outside. Then make sure to wash your hands. Uh, well, I mean, it's generally better if you sneeze into the crook of your 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 elbow, honestly. But, uh, I mean, you know, if you do have to cover your mouth with your hands because you're kind of caught off guard and you don't have enough time to uh, do anything else, then yes, that does make sense. But generally, don't try not to sneeze on your hands. You use them for too many things and it's too easy to forget. Hi, taking the day off? Uh, no. <laughs> there are no days off for me. Sounds interesting. I, 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 yeah, you, you, being sarcastic, what? Need to find quartz for a project I'm working on, Sam. Hmm, okay, well, I think I could probably hook you up with that, Sam. Uh, all right, well, don't go anywhere. Well, I mean, you are going to go somewhere, but I, I should be able to get you some refined quartz. It'll, in fact, be the first refined quartz that I refine. Or rather, the first quartz that I refine. I'm not refining refined quartz. I'm not sure what that, that could possibly be refined into. Even more refined quartz? More, more pure quartz? My goodness. Where would it end? Because then you could refine the refined refined quartz. My lord. Right, let's go ahead and see if we can't take care of this, though. So, quartz, some coal, I think that should be all we need. Let's pop that in there, tonk. And actually, we only need we only need the the, the one, so that's actually quite nice. Right, let's drop off our wood and stone and clay, and indeed the fiber as well. We've actually got quite a nice little bit of forage here. I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm quite Im uh, impressed with that. Uh, I am going to need a daffodil. Let's let's grab a daffodil. We want some nice items. I mean, we've got blue jazz. Hmm. I'm tempted to get, to keep that for Jazz's birthday. I mean, it, it seems so fitting, you know. But maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not. Uh, how long is that going to take? That's going to take some time, I should imagine. But in the meanwhile, I guess we could go down and uh, do a do a little spot of fishing down in Cindersnap Forest before coming back up. I mean, realistically speaking, we're probably not going to get uh, get things ready for Sam today. That's going to be something that we're going to more want to look at for tomorrow, I think. Oh, some more sweet peas. This is glorious. So many beautiful flowers to collect. And let's swing back around and get settled in for a little bit of fishing, shall we? I think so. Okay, I think we've had enough luck for today. We've gotten two gold star pike, a diamond, a geode, uh, two gold star bream, two gold star chub, two green algae, and a ruby. I really don't think we could have hoped for more from just, just something we decided to do just to pass some time. My goodness. Now, hopefully, in the Sam's quest, th these usually don't run out uh, immediately, so we should be able to bring Sam that uh, the refined quartz, uh, quartz tomorrow. Uh, let me just double check. It is just one refined quartz. We need to take that. It's actually pretty good. We'll also be able to give Jazz her birthday present, hopefully. Uh, so there we are. We'll keep that on us. But that was absolutely marvelous. Now, we do need that for... Okay, we need both of them, sadly, for <laughs> for our, uh, our um, bundles. But, you know, that's fine. It's worth having. Um, pike we haven't had before. We've already got uh, a... Well, actually, do we have a bream? We don't have a bream. Wow, okay. That's uh, kind of in, uh, odd, but uh, very well. Very well. Uh, I will keep the green algae, especially because it appears that we can just build that up and then make our own um, fish spot, which would be absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm still unsure exactly on how that's all going to work, but uh, I'm quite, quite eager to see. 
Right, okay, well, the, the grapes we will keep. We'll probably turn them into something at some point. I'm going to need another chest, honestly. Uh, I'm starting to really, really feel that need. But what kind of chest will we have? I kind of feel that it should be a forage chest of a sort. Let's go ahead and set this up. A little chest right here. And we've got green. We've already got a, a bright green. Let's go for more of a... Well, I kind of associate forage with more of a... A... Uh, Kind of a earthy colour, I think. I think that'll that'll work out quite nicely. All right, let's uh, grab all of the the forage. Anything that comes under forage, that's going to go down into that chest. There we go. And I'm gonna. It's going to take me a little bit of time to move it all, but it'll be well worth it, I think, at the end of it. Uh, salmon berry should technically go there. Um, so, so should the sweet pea. Realistically speaking, um, we are we are gathering that through forage means. Uh, the daffodils should move across, the mushroom, the the tulips. I mean, in in a way, a lot of these things are actually forage simply because they're items that I I found uh, whilst wandering around. But uh, let's let's try and keep uh, keep these somewhat split up. I think no, the yam is going to have to stay as well. Uh, even though the sweet pea, well, no, we will move the sweet pea over there. I, I was kind of kind of. Uh, Struggling with that one. I guess cave carrots should also be moved across there for the same reasons. Okay, I think this will get us a much better organized set of chests. Final thing I would like to move, though, is the sap. I don't think the sap belongs in there. Let's organize that chest. There we go. I think the sap actually belongs down here. Uh, I, I feel fairly, fairly confident that that would be a better place for it. Right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to sell off some of these fish. We did end up with quite a lot of them in the end. I'm actually pretty pretty pleased with that. Uh, let me just grab the gifts that I'm going to want to give. Shall we go for a sweet pea? Mm, I'm tempted, but I can give a gold star daffodil to Jazz as her birthday present. I think uh, I, I am tempted to give her the Jazz flower just because Jazz. But no, I think a gold star present will be a, a little bit a uh, little bit better. Okay, how much money did we make from fishing? Made a decent amount, 367. Not bad at all. And considering the main prize with two gems that we can now add to the uh, the um, relevant bundles. Right, let's have a quick check. Uh, how is the weather going to be like tomorrow? It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Wow, I, sh I should put money on this. I'd make a fortune. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, poop. was thinking about going mining today. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip. Here's a rundown of the fish you can only find in summer. A dorado found in the forest rivers during the day. Rainbow trout found in the forest rivers and in the mountain during the day. Puffer fish found in the ocean in the early afternoon. And octopus found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. Hmm. Should we? Should we? For go, for go uh, watering and, and go see if we can't catch some fish, perhaps. Right, we're going to sell some strawberry jelly. Ah, good times. Uh, I am actually somewhat tempted, somewhat tempted to go and, and spend the, the first part of the morning just seeing if we can't catch some octopus. That might actually be quite fun. Uh, ooh, some new sap. Thank you. Let's also get Yoko's bowl. Most important of all. There we go. There we are. All things done that need to be done as a high priority. Uh, let's drop off. Oops. We want to drop off the sap right there. And we want to get two more items going over here. Let's go for the strawberries, of course. Gonna, gonna work our way through the strawberries as we can. But uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go. Let's go and see if we can't uh, can't check out some octopus fishing. Nice and early in the day, octopus fishing. Now, we will swing by the community center first, though, just to drop these items off. And if we can, then we'll spot Sam out and about. And uh, that would be marvelous. If we'd gone through Cindersnap, maybe I could have gone and spoken with Jazz. Uh, we could have popped into Marnie's ranch and, and perhaps seen if we could find Jazz early on to give her her birthday present. But this should, this should do okay. I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's pop in and go and find the correct location. Now, was it the bulletin board or in the boiler room? That is the important one. Uh, children's bundle, fodder bundle, chef's bundle, die bundle. Okay, so none of those more than likely. It's probably down here. Uh, let's go and see. We've got some rare gems. 
Where are we? Adventurous bundle? Treasure bundle. There we go. Womp and womp. There we go. We only need another three. And we can make that of emeralds, aquamarine, topaz, or amethyst. Very well. Very well indeed. I'm glad to already be making some, some swift progress on that one. And I know, I know, there's, there's a part of me that's like, oh, but the, but the diamond. The diamond. But you know what? It's more important to get the community center fixed, ultimately. And the sooner you can you can uh, make a piece with, with that big, the pricey diamond, everything else is going to be a little bit easier to give away. What do you want? Leave me alone. Ah, oh, Shane, I thought we were getting closer than that. My lord. Oh, well. uh, let's pop in and have... Oh, actually, uh, well, you know what, sure. Let's, uh... Oh, it's locked. Ah, wait. Oh, <laughs> it said from nine until eight. Not... Eight until nine. I was about to say, but but it's already past the time. But no, 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 no. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can find down here. Oh, hello, Alex. I guess I'm not too surprised to see you at the beach. Hey, you must be getting pretty strong working on that farm all day. I would like to think so. Maybe you'll reach my level someday. Something to look forward to, huh? I don't think anyone could reach your level, uh, Alex. I think you're safe. Tonk. There we go. I am a little bit concerned uh, about finding Sam to give that quest into, because I've accepted the quest, and if I now don't give it, then I uh, suffer a bit of a reputation penalty. Whereas uh, Jazz, if I didn't give her a birthday present, she wouldn't really notice that I hadn't given her anything. I, I just wouldn't get a, a bonus out of it. That that's the way uh, it works mechanically, obviously, deep down inside. Of course, of course she would notice, and I would feel bad for knowing that she noticed, but just never said anything. I would make it worse. Uh, silent judgment. Right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, grab a... You know what, let me organise my my uh, inventory like that so that we can do a little bit of fish. Ooh, there's some fish down here, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can't grab this. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we can't do a maximum cast because we just wouldn't be able to, to, to hit that particular um, spot there, really. Okay, well, fine. If you're not gonna go up to the treasure, oh, there you go. Trying to, you've got to, you've got to time it perfectly. When the fish is right at the bottom there, to avoid the bounce, you've got to give just a little bit of uh, of energy into it at just the right moment, just just before the barber reaches the bottom there. Otherwise, it bounces back up, and uh, you can end up in a bounce cycle. And even just letting it do its thing, it does take a, a remarkably long time for the uh, bounce to stop. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of a battle, I can already tell. All right, unless, uh, unless you're uh, the sort of fish that just has a burst of, of explosive energy right at the, the beginning. Okay, it was a tuna. I'm kind of frankly amazed that I was able to reel you in. Tuna are not small fish. I seem to remember it was either in the, the second season or the first one. I commented on the size of tuna. And uh, someone went and looked it up and was shocked. When they found it, I guess, you know, if your only real experience with tuna is like canned tuna or something, there's no particular reason why you would necessarily realize it is gigantic. A tuna is huge. Absolutely enormous. And, uh, yeah, it could be quite uh, quite uh, impressive then in studio. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, on my, my good old bamboo pole reeling in a tuna. No, I'm fairly certain the tuna would reel me into the water. Also, I'm fairly certain the tuna wouldn't be this close to shore, realistically, but... Uh, that I don't know for certain, though. Uh, I, I assume a large fish would probably not be hanging around the this close to the coastline, but uh, uh, I actually don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I always think of tuna as, as more ocean fish. Yeah, you're not really going to get them near the beach, but I, I, I would stand to be corrected if anyone in the comments happens to know. Uh, perhaps you are a fisherman yourself, or, or fisherman in your family, who happen to catch tuna, and you can let us know. Right, let's see what we've got here. I think this is going to be the last fish of the day. What are we going to get? Another tilapia. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel ashamed for having told a lie, but then I noticed that that last fish did not take us up until 12 to catch, so uh, I decided to keep going. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Okay, I think I think that's probably enough. We're, we're probably good enough. Uh, what? Hello? Ahoy! Ahoy to you. Come in, make yourself at home. Uh, well, thank you. I'll just uh, glance around a little bit. Aye, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just uh, <laughs> make sure to wash your hands. After, uh, good, after dipping them in those juices. 
Uh, right here. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, lad. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wish I wish you'd had a sign there. Also, I kind of wish that I just wasn't just randomly dumping my hand into weird stuff in a shop. My goodness. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? I think so. I think we've done a decent job. Uh, yeah. Ah, a man after my own heart. You can always trust a fisherman, can you? That's what me old uh, pappy used to say, at least. <laughs> well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Oh, okay. So, uh, one fish of every type, I imagine. What's wrong? Oh, is everything okay? Aye, well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that old community centre fell to ruin. Your fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. No time for me, me own projects, you know. But if things picked back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. Okay. <laughs> yep. She's back there. An old friend that's been that's seen better days. Oh, this is completely new content. I mean, I kind of got the impression when I stuck my hand in whatever I've stuck my hand in that I was like, I don't remember ever doing that before. But no, this is definitely new content. New for me, anyway. Someday, lad. You'll see what I mean. Ah, uh, okay. I, I duly note it. Thank you very much. Hello. Right, now. Um, I wouldn't mind getting that uh, glorious rod there, but uh, that might be a little bit out of my reach. Uh, sell on all of these. I'm going to keep um, one tilapia, I think. I could get the fiberglass rod. Could get a large fish tank, too. But I think the five grass rod would be a better purchase. Uh, okay. No, I, I think this would be a very good buy for me. Thank you ever so much. I was not expecting to have enough money there to be able to buy a new rod. Oh, I'm so excited to test this out because now we've got use for the fish baits as well. But I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist for now. Hello, Haley. You stay in the sun a lot. It'll make your hair lighter. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's a good thing to know. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know why it makes your hair lighter, right? Because that's not a good thing. The reason behind it, it becoming lighter is not necessarily good. Uh, right, well, let's have a look for where Jazz, uh, Vincent, and Penny may be. Might they be at the at the, um, the library? Uh, no, no, they are not. All right, well, uh, okay, continuing on. Gotta find where where Jazz is. Um, where would Penny? I think Penny will be with Jazz and Vincent today. Um, well, they they may be out in the in Cinder Snap. That's always a possibility. Where's Sam though? That's the other question. Uh, hello. Hi, Emily. I consider the bees and butterflies to be my special friends. That's lovely to hear. I think you consider everyone your friend. We have that in common. Strangers are just friends I haven't met yet. Hello. Ah, damn Dragon Blast, I can't talk to you anymore. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Well, that's the kindest backhanded compliment I've received, at least to today. Housework is frustrating because you never finished. Well, uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. The day after I sweep the floor, it's dirty again. Uh, I, I can I can appreciate that. Sam, Sam, I really, really want to give you, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes. Oh, the timing was perfect. Here you go, Sam. Hey, thanks a million, Avak. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Uh, really? Dad was telling me about our national enemy, the Gotoro Empire. They sound like a ruthless bunch. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, the enemy always are ruthless. But you've got to, got to remember that your, your enemy's enemy, and the same applies. Here you go, Jazz. Jazz, Jazz, please. Oh, my goodness. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're more than welcome. I knew you'd like daffodils. Ah, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But no, uh, unless they give you presents, apparently. Uh, oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, swing up 
through uh, through to the farm. I it's past midday and I haven't done any watering, and that does make me a little bit weary. Makes me a tad worried, just a tad. Well, actually, more than a tad. It makes me it makes me worried. You know what though? I fancy that maybe I should uh, smelt some more of my quartz down. You see, the thing going through my mind is I'm fairly certain the Rasmodius would appreciate some uh, refined quartz. Huh. I think that might actually be a worthwhile endeavor. Let's go ahead and grab two quartz, two coal, and get both of these smelted. Uh, I don't believe that I've got anything in my inventory right now that is... Ooh, well, other than the wood, I guess. Uh, oh, the tilapia is required. Oh, I should have kept one then. I should have double-checked that. That was silly of me, but okay. Uh, we will take uh, the tilapia over to the community center, I think. Let's drop that off. Uh, the broken CD, I mean... You know what? I'll keep it for now. I will keep it for now, because we can eventually start break, uh, recycling it. It'll eventually happen, but uh, for the time being, probably not. The rainbow shell... Hmm. I think we'll keep it. I think we will. Uh, we need to put this in the forage chest. Right, okay. There we go. Now I can pop the bamboo rod over here. Uh, there we are. Now I just need to start collecting bug meat at this point. And with that will come great many things. Do we have any? There we are. Perfect. Now, uh, can I? Oh, is bug meat? Ah, bug meat is not itself a bait. There we go. Oh, mind you, I make stupid amounts of it out of that. That's fine. We've got enough bait now to last us for a good long while. I'm going to say hello to Robin because I feel it's important to do it, even though I know the Robin is going to tell me, Oh, you're pestering me. Under construction. Under oh, okay. Just telling me it's under construction. Well, that's actually better than I, what I was expecting. But uh, nevertheless, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm one of those people. That if I've got any any workman over or anyone doing any kind of kind of work on my house or, or in my house, I, I feel obliged to, to offer to at least make them a drink. Maybe even a snack if, they, if they've been there for a while. Obviously, that one's a, that one's a little bit more of a... You gotta kind of read the the room a little bit with with offering them food, because um, they they that might put them in a position where they're like, well, I don't want to refuse, but what you're offering me food, so it's it's more like you know, if you've got carpenters and they're doing a big job, and you know that they're gonna be bloody bloody hungry from it, um, you know, then, then maybe maybe offering like if if you've got like you know snacks of uh, you know like chocolate bars or something something they can have have on the go, not something they have to stop and eat certainly, and you know because obviously you know you, you might be a little bit worried about well you know your I might not like your food and then I'm in a weird position of uh, how do I respond to this etc cetera, etc, cetera. but I do like to try and. Uh, Try and uh, show my appreciation for the work they're doing. You know, in and in uh, above and beyond, you know, the money and the, the likes. Right, there we go. Let's get all of this done. It can, it can be incredibly lonely work as well, and uh, you know, especially if you're out working uh, outside, like you've got a project in someone's someone's garden, and it's, the weather is awful, etc., etc. It can just be nice if someone just takes the time just to make you a hot drink, you know. All right, let's go ahead and grab these wiggly worms. Womp! We've got a little bit of clay. Thank you very much. There we go. And we should be able to get all of this watering done. With actually time to spare, I'm relatively pleased. Actually, that would have been a there would have been a better way of me uh, doing that part. But oh well, that's fine for now, I suppose. What I should have done is this: just the first one, then uh, these two. Then I would have just had two little spots that I needed to water in the middle there. But that's fine for now. Let's go ahead and uh, fill up the uh, the uh, watering can. Now, I'm not sure how long that's going to take Robin to finish. Um, might not take over long. I think it might even be done tomorrow. So I'm going to go and grab the scythe. I'm going to have it in the inventory ready to roll with. Um, let's grab the scythe. Yeah, sure. And that will allow us to take care of... Um, of uh, the the uh, grass around here, and then we'll hopefully, hopefully, fingers very much crossed, get out those chickens. I'm quite excited for this. Quite excited. Uh, I I was really debating whether to to just buy the chickens and buy the fodder for the first couple of days. You can absolutely do it. 
you've got to remember to, obviously, but then you've always got to remember to feed your pets. But uh, it, it can be a little bit costly, especially... Oh, I'm sorry, Linus, I forgot. I've already given you a gift. Hmm? You want something from me? Uh, just, just, to, just to have a chat, make sure you're doing okay. Uh, let's go ahead and sink into the, uh, into the pool for a few moments. We'll do a little bit of mountain fishing. I think that would be very, very good. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, that was quite a refreshing little dip in the pond. I didn't take my energy bar up too high because we're honestly not going to have enough time to use all of that energy. If I filled out the bar, then that would be a waste of time, frankly. But what we have got now is an opportunity to just go and do a spot of fishing. Uh, let's go over onto the little island. We'll see what we can catch right, uh, right over on the island here. We'll try and position ourselves just about here, I think, and fish downwards. Yeah, something like this will do quite nicely. Let's see what we can catch before, hmm, let's say we go back at midnight. Yeah, I think that's, that'll be a good time to turn back. And it's getting a bit late now, so this is going to be the last catch of the evening. But as you can already see, luck has been with us once again when it comes to fishing. We've got another diamond. I am so incredibly happy about that. Not only that, but we have three iridium carp. Three iridium carp. Initially, I thought it was three gold carp, but it's not. It's three iridium carp, as well as a gold carp and two gold bullheads and a geode for for uh, the icing on the cake there. I'm incredibly, incredibly happy. We've also got some rubbish, sadly, but uh, that will be uh, kept in a chest and eventually recycled. Uh, selling it does nothing but just adds it back into the cycle, whereas at least if we recycle it, then, uh, then it becomes something a little bit more. You know what, while I'm, while I'm here, shall we pop in on the bats? Hello. They should be a little bit more active right now, but... Uh, they they haven't left us any gifts for the time being, at the very least. Right, I'm going to drop off. Uh, do we, we don't have a carp. Wow, okay. Well, that's impressive. Do we have a bullhead? Uh, we do not have a bullhead either. Sometimes it's so hard for me to remember what I've got and what I've not got, because uh, simply from the, the fact that I'm, I've played the game so many times... But I can't be certain if I'm remembering. Oh yeah, I've definitely got a got a bullhead. Well, do I do I actually have a bullhead uh, in in the uh, uh, in this game, or, or is it more something I've had in one of my other games? Robin, go back to your family. You don't need to work in, into the middle of the night, my lord. No star, you go. There we go. And also have Robin as well. There we are, level five fishing now. Okay, so we've got trapper resources required to craft crab pots reduced, or fisher. I feel I feel that especially with my particular skills I find fishing very enjoyable and also very easy to do so I feel that this is going to have more bang for buck in the in the long run for me than trapper uh it just takes me a little bit longer to get the resources to make more crab pots now I don't know what the the upgrades are for trapper or at level 10 so I actually don't know what we're missing out on with this, but I'm going to go for Fisher. Uh, uh, it would be fair to say that I think just the last couple of days alone show show how good and profitable fishing can be for us. And I, and it's a skill that, that, you know, for some reason or another, I just have in games. I always find fishing in games reasonably easy to do. So uh, we'll, we'll play to my strengths on that one. But the two strawberry jellies got 290 gold each. Marvellous. I approve. So we've made 857 there, and we are moving on to the fifth day of summer. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, though, because uh, we're going to have to wait until the next one to see how this day goes. But uh, that is going to be it from me and, of course, from Yoko, wherever she may be. I hope you've had a wonderful, uh, wonderful time watching this episode, and we'll have a wonderful day beyond it. But until next time, do take care, everyone.